Nikki Cheret. Nikki Cheret. Move over QVC and HSN, 3 a.m. Channel 6. Here comes Victor with his infomercial on Camp Gratitude. <laughs> I have my membership application ready for you. I have a couple of young ones that need to take the camp <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and especially Victor, I will be evaluating your speech this morning on in three sections. The first section will deal with your uh, body language, what I saw and what I heard in your speech, as well as your speech structure. And then I'll end with some suggestions for when you deliver this speech next time. Speech, the speech that I saw. He was very exuberant in the beginning. He caught our attention. He was boisterous. His voice offered a lot of vocal variety. He grabbed the audience's attention by being loud and asking a question. He also had the opportunity to go to all corners of the room with his eyes and connect with the audience. I know that he looked my way a couple of times, not knowing I was evaluating him. And I watched him give fair eye contact to the rest of the room. Now, your speech structure. Your speech structure was perfect in a sales pitch. He started with a question, and usually when you open a speech with a question, it can go a couple of ways, but he asked a number of questions. And when there's a number of questions, I know I'm about to be sold on something. <laughs> <laughs> he also peppered those questions throughout his speech, keeping the audience engaged. He had a lot of humor also in there, and I think that if he perhaps matched this speech with a presentation that we could visually see, that it would have also added to our experience. And maybe after this, you would have a lot more people wanting to go to Camp Gratitude themselves, maybe. Now some suggestions. When you were up here, I noticed that the green light came on and you stumbled a little bit. The light can be intimidating, but what I've done is I practice at home beforehand and I use what they also have on standby, these cards. And I have a loved one do that to me and try to trip me up. And then that way I work out all the kinks before I deliver the speech. The last suggestion that I had was at the end, you ended very strong and true to an infomercial, you gave us the price. You also didn't address the Toastmaster. You ended with, and for you, and I wasn't sure if it was done yet until some people started clapping. I would suggest turning the floor back over to the Toastmasters so you know that the speech has ended. At least that's a cue to the audience. All in the, at the end of your speech, I think that you could definitely deliver this next year at the humorous contest and be a fierce competitor. Mr. Toastmaster.